Insertion of nasogastric tube is a relatively safe procedure and easily accomplished in infants and children. A tube may be introduced through the nose or mouth and passed through the stomach or duodenum. The following are purposes of nasogastric tube insertion. To instill a formula, electrolyte solution or medication. To remove the gastric contents following the ingestion of a poison. To remove amniotic fluid in the neonate. To obtain material for diagnostic tests. For post-operative decompression. Here are the steps on how to insert a nasogastric tube. Place the terminal end of the selected nasogastric tube 5 to 8 centimeters below the siphoid process and measure to the patient's nares. This point is marked on the tube with crane or tape and represents the length of tubing required to enter the stomach. Examine the nasal passage and select the largest site. Grasp the tube about 5 to 8 centimeters from the terminal tip. When ready for use, Dip the tip in a water-soluble lubricant. The tip of the nose is pressed upward with operator's free thumb. This enlarges the external nasal opening. Slide the tube into the nostril along the base of the nose, aiming toward the occiput. When the tube reaches the pharynx, ask the patient to swallow or offer him water to drink with a straw. Simultaneous with the swallowing maneuver, the tube is advanced into the esophagus. The tube is inserted to the pre-measured site. When the tube has been inserted to the pre-measured site, the following tests may be utilized to determine whether it is properly placed in the stomach or whether it has entered the respiratory tract. Attach a syringe to the tube and aspirate. If gastric contents are withdrawn, the tube is in proper position. Place the external end of the tube in a glass of water. If air bubbles appear during the expiratory phase of respiration, the tube is in the respiratory tract. Place a stethoscope over the area of the stomach and listen while air is instilled into the tube. If the tip is in the stomach, bowel sounds will be audible. The tube is then taped in a position using two pieces of tape. 